Welcome to Quant Minds. I'm joined by Anastasia Yachmanyova from Compatible. Anastasia, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, tell me about yourself and your work at Compatible. Good morning and thanks for inviting. Sure. Uh, well, I'm a senior vice president and I'm leading the strategic department at the company, overseeing strategic marketing and business development activities, planning flagship events like Quant Minds or special projects like Hackathon this year which we are very excited about. So tell me more about the hackathon. So we will be focused on large language models um, uh, on the day. So can you tell me more about large language models and what they are and how they differ, for example, from natural language processing, which we've already seen in the quant space? Sure, so large language models are advanced AI systems that transform input data into output data based on their content. And the analogy is basically they can be compared to a pinball game where input is sorted and processed through multiple layers of neural networks. The early goals of developing these models were very modest when we were just starting from completing a single sentence, for example, for an email. Uh, but these models became larger, more sophisticated, and today most scientists agree that the best among these models uh, have sparked this artificial generic intelligence, and namely, like the difference highlights the ability to reason about the real world. Wonderful. So from small to large, we, we went from, from zero to, to everything, Exactly. Really. Like the, the name of the model says. <laughs> So, uh, can you tell me about the applications of LLMs in quant finance? What are the opportunities here? So, while quant finance is mathematical by nature, at Compatible we identified many, like, it goes beyond just being quant finance um, and how to apply these large language models. Some related to analytics and some related to the processing um, around developing these analytics. And one of the exciting examples is uh, modal governance. So well, our clients are banks and when banks' models are modified by quants, all changes have to be documented. And these sets of documentation contain like up to 500 pages uh, describing every single model, every single detail, like to make sure that the financial industry is very effective, precise and accurate. And doing this is really very critical to be reliable. Um, so these risk models and eva evaluation models are used in financial reporting and risk reporting for regulators. And it's extremely important to be documented correctly. So that's how LLMs can be applied, for example, in model governance, making the life of quants easier. Yeah, no, I can totally see that. And, and, and like you say, like 500 pages, that's a long, long thing. So I'm guessing this is, might be one of the challenges actually in, in the applications. So um, will regulations also be a challenge here? Most importantly, we see the partnership opportunities here. For example, between OpenNI and Microsoft Asia, who make the GPT models available within the bank's Azure cloud. And Microsoft will guarantee that OpenAI models will run, will run in the bank's Azure account and completely isolated from any other Azure cloud or, or, or even from OpenAI. And in this case, the data becomes subject to some protections as any other data in the bank's Azure cloud. And it's subject to some privacy guarantees, so it's never used for training, for example. It's never ac like accessed by anyone outside the bank. And as a trusted partner of many financial institutions with an existing cloud account and contract, we expect Azure deployments to be the choice of most banks and asset managers. And of course, not only the regulators will have a say about this, but also legislators. And the use of AI in the European Union, for example, will be regulated by the AI Act, the world's first comprehensive AI law. And I personally see it as a very positive AI adoption because, well, clear legislature guidelines will lead to compliance effort from AI technology vendors like Compatible or many others. And this will in turn give banks 
confidence using this technology and adopting it like on different levels at banks. Wonderful. So, um, as, uh, as you suggested, this goes way beyond the finance uh, financial sector, uh, whether that's banks or re uh, regulators. Uh, how do you see us working together to overcome the challenges here? Well, the key is working closely with the clients, no matter like which industries they come from, because they have this knowledge as well. And working with technology vendors like Compatible makes this collaboration easier and overcoming challenges more exciting, I would say. And the client knows that the data is secure and they can use this natural language capability without any concerns that they ask about a particular counterparty and somehow it gets out and open. So it's really just a confidence building step that has to be part of the AI adoption in the industry. And since I'm the representative of the financial industry, so like that's the key. Wonderful. So let's talk about the hackathon. Uh, what are you hoping to see from the winning team? Well, we hope to see the creativity and brilliance in for all the hackathon participants. We want to create something really wonderful, unexpected, and perhaps leading to some future quant minds topics and presentations like next year or in two years. And we would like to see the winners as well as just participants of uh, that event to come away with a sense of having accomplished something really amazing, something big and something they can use their jobs like next day or in a week, in a month. And I also believe it's very important for the hackathon to include not only conference participants that can code in Python, uh, but also anyone who would like to participate. And like uh, we are designing the hackathon in such a way so both groups of participants can participate. And for those who cannot code in Python, it will be prompt engineering that is just like an art of programming an LLM in a natural language, providing very plain English instructions that have to be stated in a very precise manner to achieve the desired results. So uh, we are looking forward to participants. We now can say that there will be several categories to try your skills and participate. Some will require programming skills, some will not require them. So we are really looking forward to this event. Sounds really exciting. So tell me about QuantMinds International. What are you excited to learn? Well, this year, of course, it's AI and large language models because they seem like something not easily applicable to quant finance. And in fact, there are many examples like uh, GPT-4 model gets math hilariously wrong or um, used in combination with something else. Um, however, some of these topics we'll be talking about at the event and this will be again model governance, incorporating non-subjective analysis of fundamental data into risk models and I'm sure that quants and risk managers are working now really very hard to apply LMMs to quant finance in many other new and unexpected ways. So I really can't wait to hear about this application this year and to enhance the boundaries of application AI in financial industry. So looking forward to November. Wonderful. I'll see you then. See you there. Thank you.